Soll ich mal was sagen? Ist es okay? Gut. Okay, welcome again. Um, I talk a little bit about why accessibility websites are better websites. So uh, if I, I gave this talk uh, four weeks ago in, on the Dutch Joomla day, it was a um, beginner talk and um, I changed nothing. So it's the same, same talk. Um, uh, if I prepared this talk, I, I, I realized that I, I'm um, not really will talk about accessibility websites, I will talk about good websites. So, and um, let us start. So, who am I? I'm Robert Deutz. Um, I'm deploying uh, components. Um, we're doing, uh, together with Angie, who's there, um, accessible websites and accessible components and such things. So, um, here we go. So, one, one important thing in, in, in the sentence is, is one word, I think, and it's uh, better. So, uh, to know or to, to, to say A is better than B, uh, you need an idea what is good. So, and I made a defini uh, n n definition. Uh, it's for me a definition, so. And uh, that's my definition. So, uh, good websites are made for the visitors. So, they have a good idea where visit the website and um, what these people expect when they go to the website and uh, have a clear and a viewable message. Hannes, come rein. Yeah, okay. Yeah, with Take your seat. So, um, clear and a viewable message. So, um, so I will tell you to, to come a little bit more in, in the topic. So, two, tori two, tor two stories. Talk two stories. So, see story one. Um, it was uh, 1998. This guy made a combination of these three parts. So, it's URL, it's uniform resource locator, HTTP is protocol to, to um, transport websites, and about HTML. So, and made a combination of that. It's not of this, um, not any of this is really new. So, but the combination is it's really interesting. So, um, I will not talk about this, both parts, and I will not talk about H and L, and also not on TM, but I will talk about the M. So, and the M is for the markup. So, and um, what is markup? So, it's markup and semantics. So, sites are structured. So, and if we look at this, lorem ipsum dolor um, text. So, uh, I think anyone knows this text. You see, there is text. So, and we can make it a little bit better. It makes no sense. So, the so whole text makes no sense, but uh, to do it in this, uh, uh, to, to um, cut it in this part makes also no sense, but it's, uh, I hope, hope you get what I will talking about. Uh, I made a, a header and, and made paragraphs and made it a little bit structured and made a, a, a list. So, and semantic is to, to put this big um, header in, in, in H1 paragraph, and you see all the uh, semantic in this page. So, that's the idea from markup and from semantic. 
Second story, we all have disabilities. So um, if I was younger, my eyes were better. So, um, and uh, there are really many kinds of disabilities. So red, green, so you can have problems with, with using keyboards or mouse or something else. So, and we have many kinds. So, and, and the question, question is, and the answer is there also, can we have one site for cover all these kind of disabilities? So and the answer is no. So, um, so we have really a, a problem, and the problem is the complexity. Complexity is the problem. So, the two stories. What will I say with these two stories? Semantic is for structuring your information. Story one. And it's, it's, it's hard to, to make a website to, to cover all the problems and all the, all the accessibility problems. Okay, we, we remember. So, um, what people expect, clear message, and uh, that was the definition. So, and now questions you may ask you. Um, what is the, the main idea from, from the site? So, why, why is the site there? So, um, compare the site with different other sites and, uh, and uh, get a better idea um, how other businesses do sites and, and how they are connected to the, to the people. Um, Question three is, is why people should visit your site. What expects the visitor and what is your, your target group? So, and what's the message? So, um, maybe I, I don't know if you, you are here um, developers or, or people uh, doing websites. Doing websites? Yes? Okay, most of them. So, then here you, um, if you do accessibility websites, maybe you, you hear this, so our target group has no disabilities. So, and, uh, and uh, we know our marketing, we focus on the, on the majority, so. Um, and I think if we had uh, a market, and I made it a little bit simple with, with, the, with the numbers, so, and we have, uh, we are 10 on the market, so, and 90% of the people in the market have any disabilities. So, if, that's, uh, if this is the description on our market, um, then I think we, we can ask the, our, our client, uh, if, not, if nine fight for a part of 90, this results in some part of the market, so, and if with the idea the competitors think uh, the same as your client and say don't go to the accessibility, uh, to the disability, um, to the people with disabilities, so um, then when he is alone and fight for 10% of the market, then he get 10%, so it's easy. Um, I think um, in, in, in this discussion you, you should tell your, your, your clients that, um, the, that uh, he should use the market potential as best as he can and, and his own potential. So um, I think accessibility is a chance for clients to be better on the market. So, and we come to, to why better. So, it's only, uh, I, I have uh, now 
two slides for, for every because why is it? Oh, it's rot it's read by me, so so I think the projector had a little problem. Um, okay. If you remind on my definition, um, I said good website knows a lot about her visitors. So, and I think accessibility websites must know who are the visitors uh, because there is this complexity. They need to know where the people is, where the people are, and uh, so that's good for for accessibility website. So. And the second part was this uh, good websites know really what people expect. So, and um, I think accessibility websites must, must know what people expect or they are focused on their target group. So, also uh, sign on that. So, the uh, third is, is um, good websites have a clear message. So, you can have a clear message on your website without making it accessibility accessible. So that's only the part. So we can discuss this. But so a little bit plus for for your for your accessible website is um, your search ranking will be probably better. So you have good semantic in your in your site and and uh, um, uh, you you your your content is better structured. So, um, so if you have good semantics, you can import the content. It's more a technical thing, and um, usability is probably better. So, um, and now, how about Joomla? Um, I have. First, 1.0 Joomla, and um, if you look at at one point, um, oh, we have to say semantic doesn't exist really. So, a problem. We have tables over tables, and it's a little bit crappy. So, and to change it, you need to hack the core. You cannot override it. So you cannot in one five and one six. So um, this is really, really a hard job. So we we done this uh, a year, I think, uh, and made this five five zero eight hack for Joomla one point uh, null, and um, you have always to merge all the files and uh, look what what has changed. So it was not really fun. Um, if we look at, at 1.5, and if we look at the beast template, um, we see we have a good semantic, content is in the logical order, so I think many, many people don't like the colors from the template. So, but, so we have a um, table of output with this template, and um, it is a good starting point um, to make an accessible site. So, if you look at 1.5 and look at the Milky Way template, so you can, if you remind, you can see what one was was on 1.0. So, 1.6. One 1.6 six. Um, one six is uh, semantic is good. This is the overrides. Uh, for, for the template are uh, not needed, so the good, con good content structure is, is go uh, gone in the core. So it was a lot of work. Maybe you can tell us. <laughs> so we have a table of standard output here now. So we have also a very good starting point for accessible websites. So. Um, now we have Milky Way with overrides and with the, with the old crap. So, um, and uh, C110, so. 
Um, so two points uh, with, with speech to notes. So we have, uh, is this right or is it changed, no? So yeah. as I made the presentation. Yeah. Okay. 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 We we have a we have one b b two zero is with x HTML, and we have b five is with HTML five and XML, x HTML. So, and this y area and accessible JavaScript is in 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 the b in, in both. Okay. Good. So. It's really, really interesting. So I gave this presentation on the, on the Dutch Joomla and I need 25 minutes. So and I know I'm, I'm ready in 15 minutes. So um, <laughs> I, I hope you have questions. And we, it's really cool uh, that we have Angie here. And, and uh, um, uh, I, I have to say uh, I'm, I'm more as a coding guy in our team. So. And um, with uh, 1.6, uh, we had uh, a lot of new things. And um, sorry for this short presentation, but uh, OK. What's the difference between accessibility and usability? That's a big difference. Yeah, OK. Maybe you come here so and say, yeah. Ja, ja, aber der nicht auf der Kamera. Ah. <lacht> 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 yeah, I think um, the usability is um, the basic for accessibility website. Uh, um, a usable website is not an accessible website. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. The um, the most of the sites should be usable. Yeah, and um, the accessibility is one you put something on it. Yeah, you yeah. you make it. Um, accessible for people with disabilities or you make it accessible for for for, uh, for google or all these robots yeah and you have to do something more than to make it usable okay. to make it usable is to have this idea of your customers to structure the content well yeah mm -hmm. and um to make it accessible you need a little bit more to go into the technical details you have to change something in the code yeah um, um a side that looks uh, very nice and is good, has a good usability um, can be um, not accessible. Mm -hmm. But the usability is very good, but it yeah. isn't accessible. Yeah? So the usability is, is, a, is a basic, yeah? and the accessibility comes up to, to the top. Yeah. OK, accessibility is more. Yeah. So, to bring it on a short sentence. <laughs> so, OK. Yeah, I've been, been using these uh, 1.5 tablet, and what are the spe specific things you'd say for, well, if you want to have an accessible website besides content structuring in Meta 1 and 2, what are other things I noticed, something with uh, enlargement of fonts and, well, uh, hidden links or something? Yes. And you need, you, you need to, to, to know where where it comes. So so it's 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 uh, it's, it's important for, for blind people to have to have some some uh, more navigation points. So as they uh, read the page uh, uh, sequentially. So and sequential. sequential. Yeah. Okay. In a row. So um, so they 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 read it and and and. Uh, if, they, if, if you have uh, menus there and, and uh, uh, some stuff, on, they also have to read this, this, uh, this stuff. So, and it's good to have a, uh, to, uh, an anchor uh, to, to jump to the content, to jump to, to the navigation, so to make it a little bit uh, faster for the people. Is there some article? 
these kinds of easy things where you can, well, I don't know them. Maybe there are dogs that you want to work, but <laughs> yeah. I don't know them. And it's well, it's something actually every template designer maybe should do. A lot of us, of us, uh, of uh, and the most of important one is okay. um, Uh, okay, I give all the, all the, all, all the pens to, to Thomas, <laughs> so... But this, this Dutch side for what was also very good yeah. about the Dutch uh, web guidelines are, are very great. Yeah. Yeah. They uh, bring it down to the most important things. And that's why we have a But you do you don't do it wrong, you do it no good. Yeah, but it doesn't work. Yeah. yeah. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. The result, the result is not as good as you can reach. Yeah. 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 So what would you what would you put into the old texts of your examples from this like if I understand right, the best would be to not put anything. It depends on what is what, what, what is on the image, yeah. So one day, since two years ago, I made an experiment. Um, I take a, a I do a picture of um, a doll with a lot of blood over over the face, and um, I ask people on the blog what should be the alternative text, yeah. And um, this was a, a kind of art picture. So it was, and uh, I got 60 or 70 uh, uh, different, different ideas what should put me in. So we can see that not even always, There's always. <laughs> we can find the right words for it. Yeah? If you have an easy image like a tree, you can see a tree on, 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 on the picture. Yeah? Yeah, but sometimes it's very, very difficult to describe the picture. Yeah, and um, or you have a map. You never can describe the the, the content of the map. Yeah. It's not possible. So then, if you have a long 
uh, uh, something like a map, you need a long text yeah, to describe what is on, on the picture. So it depends on the picture you have. Yeah? It's not easy. Yeah, yeah okay. ask. Okay. Uh, I think in this case, one point is to describe objectively what's on the picture. Yeah. In your case, it was an artist's conception, yeah. so it's very hard to transmit the artist's conception through the, through the text. But, well, objectively, it was this image and it's in the imagination of the, the person that yeah. is listening to the yeah. art. And I have one question because you are speaking about uh, what and WCAT and the guidelines and everything, but in the guidelines there are some kind of, uh, some sort of classification of yeah. the accessibility of the site. Yeah. And uh, I was some time ago uh, doing some research on this, and it was very hard to, to adapt uh, a site for, for everyone. Just as you say, it's, you have to know your target group. Mm -hmm. but if you don't have a uh, very clear what is your target group, uh, which grade of uh, accessibility, for example, when you are developing this, mm -hmm. what time of, uh, what kind, uh, what range of accessibility do you want to obtain? AA, AAA, AAA, I want. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, my AA, yeah. <laughs> It's, it's, it's very hard to, to, be, uh, to do accessible sites for all people. And the biggest problem are all these people with the, they have some problems with the eyes. The biggest group with the different, um, how do you call it, this kind of, uh, Because we have people, uh, they are blind, we have people, they have this um, gray, uh, gray star. Yeah. You know, gray and, yeah. yeah. And you have people, they have uh, look back, but yeah. you know, have people they need uh, glasses for to show to look here and to look far away. And this group is very, very big. So, and um, some of them they are using different different technical stuff to uh, to access to have access to the sites. And one for blind people is on screen readers. For some people, they can uh, look a little bit. This is a uh, uh, thing called zoom, whatever. Yeah, zoom. Okay, okay. And um, yeah. so that so you have to, to to take care to put no stone in the way to um, style their views by themselves. They are able to to to. Maybe from Firefox, they can disable the style sheets and can do, use their own style sheets. So and you must be must be aware that you don't um, put style sheets uh, directly into the content uh, if you don't use inline styles, maybe for example. Yeah, and so they have um, nothing in the way they can change um, the the style they want. Yeah, you understand what I mean? Yeah, yeah? and. Um, on the other hand, I think semantic is a good thing for everything. It's very good for, for, for blind people, but it's also good for Google or all these robots crawling to the net, taking some information uh, to us. But on the other hand, we, we have, uh, I need a lot of time to, to, um, to understand why deaf people need um, to be. Um, be a better videos. Aware of, of deaf people, yeah? Because I think uh, they can't hear, but they can read, yeah? But most of the deaf people, they, um, when, I, when, you, when, you, when you see a child growing up, you see uh, how, how they learn reading, yeah? My, 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 I go to my kids, and my daughter, she's learning a little chip. They take the letters to one word, and they hear it, yeah? And most of the deaf people, they don't, they have a, a competence for uh, like kids in the age of 10 to, to read it and be, uh, it's unbelievable, but that's it, yeah? So, um, so in, in Germany we have a, um, the, uh, a new, um, new law for, for how to build accessible websites for, for the government. Um, 
uh, that you need sometimes um, easy language in, in the website. Yeah. It's, it's a really big problem because uh, when I'm, I'm working with a good texter and we make um, a good uh, advertising text at, at the website, yeah, and, and uh, now he should, should, should write text for uh, easy text, so yeah, he isn't happy with that, yeah? but sometimes it uh, can be really helpful. But maybe if you have a government site or a ministry, maybe, and you have easy text. Yeah, and it's good for kids too. The kids can maybe they have uh, in school they have a, uh, have a homework to, to find something out about ministry. Mm -hmm. it's not, yeah, they can go to the site and find this um, this text, and it will be good for kids too. Yeah, and um, on the other hand, we have people with a lack of um, okay, they have a little bit correct word. <laughs> <laughs> Use the unpolitically correct work. It's yeah. not a problem. You know what I mean? yeah. Yeah. Some dump people, yeah. What? They're low on that They can have a profit from that too, yeah? But um, the most important things are um, the semantic essay, the thing with the colors, yeah? The logical structure, the skip things, yeah? And if you do this, you are very far. Yeah, you are you do the, the most important things. Mm. And um, we can't um, do an accessible website for each disability. That's yeah, mm. impossible. Yeah? So yeah. but we can try <coughs> to do the summary of all that is good for the most of the people with different disabilities. Yeah? So if you developer, I don't know if, if any developer here, so if, we, if I develop components together with, with Angie, so we, we, we talk about the semantic, so it's really important to, to do this really early, so what is the semantic and, and, and how, how the output look like, so, and then if we do it, we, we, we make it flexible, so uh, we have our semantic, so, and, and uh, we, we can, configure if it starts on in, uh, header level 1, header level 2, or header level 3. So if you change your site, you can, can uh, it easily configure and, and, and it, it drills down. So it works. But the question is, is everybody clear why you need these different header levels? Yeah? Yeah, because you have to know that the screen reader users can skip for example. Yeah. Each header level to the other, yeah. Or in, uh, during the development of 1.5, I was uh, very. It was very important for me that we have the possibility to change to read more text. Yeah. I think Alice will know this discussion. Yeah. And um, this is because screen reader users can make a list of all links in the site, and if the text is always the same, yeah, they, they don't know where where the link is going yeah. on. Read more, read more, read more, read more, read more. What? <laughs> so the best thing is to to to, uh, to install a screen reader. Maybe for example, try it out. Yeah. Yeah. Or think if somebody use a um, how, how you call this uh, triangle. Hmm? Yeah. Maybe for the um, the pagination, uh, as somebody that use this. Um, more yeah. 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 And um, if you use something like that, no, no screen reader can handle it. Yeah. So it's better you put an image inside with a text or, or something like that. Yeah. Um, I've got a question that maybe is a little bit uh, more difficult or too difficult. I don't know because um, lately we've seen um, introductions of JavaScript in a lot of websites and. Um, I mean, the, the simple stuff is a slider uh, for, for modules, um, or for example, in, in the Joomla backend, um, the sliders for the parameters. Um, if, uh, if I'm using all this and maybe even introduce something like drag and drop and all that stuff, um, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's a really great improvement for um, most of um, the, the users, I would say so, because, for example, if I can just sort uh, a list in the backend by the drag and drop. I don't know if anybody's seen uh, Zoom 2.0 that's yeah. introduced this now. Um, 
can just sort your objects uh, with Dragonfly instead of uh, the um, old arrows uh, that you have in 1.5 and 1.6, all that stuff. Um, but it's it doesn't really look accessible to me. Um, starting with uh, blind people that don't even know where to uh, grab the item to drag it uh, to some other place, uh, and um, ending with people with um, disabilities um, with their hands and which uh, really can't um, yeah use a mouse and, and uh, point and click uh, like like the normal person's uh, people can do. So um, maybe. Um, Where's, where's the line um, that we have to, to or where's the line that, uh, that we, when we cross it, uh, that it's a really an impossible site to use for, for users? Yeah, and this is the same why um, we have this Y area. Yeah, this is the yeah. same way you should look. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the, modern, the modern screen readers, yeah, including yours, 10, they can uh, use JS very well. But the most important thing is to tell them where the focus is. Okay. This is the problem, yeah? If they don't, if the focus is not set, yeah, they can't see it. Yeah. Yeah? And that's a problem. And it's very easy, yeah, because you only have to write on this focus, nothing more. Yeah, and that helps, yeah. And then if you use this by area stuff, you have so many um, available things to describe the state status. Take. Take. Of, of um, what the what the thing you you uh, um, you change has wow. maybe it's um, it's selected or not selected uh, maybe the input box is required or not right. and this my area is a very screen yeah? yeah and then you can see um, the role of JS has changed in the accessibility too yeah with um, three four five years ago. Yeah, all the people are crying JS is very bad. Then the web, um, uh, web uh, to zero thing came, everything has to move and to fly and Ajax and something like that. And um, um, three years ago, people um, say there um, has to be, that all the stuff has to be accessible without JS. Yeah? But, um, to, to um, but that's not the real. Um, it's not really important because JS has nothing to do with accessibility. If you write accessibility JS, it's great. Yeah, yeah. And the we CIK, there's um, they describe. Uh, they are talking about techniques. Yeah. Then they are talking about accessible, about accessible JS. And if accessible JS is possible if you use these by area roles. If you Use this, um, all these attributes. You can you can choose now. They are available. Um, but the problem is, it is not um, actually. It's not decided. It's not decided. Yeah. Yeah. And, and um, so you have to, to, to use it careful. Yeah. Because the validator uh, will um, in this sites don't pass the validator at the moment. Mm. But I think the validator is not the. Um, highest thing we have, yeah, the user is the highest thing we have, so uh, normally it doesn't matter, and in bees, in the new bees, I, I use this, but I do it in JavaScript so that the validator is uh, down, and not all the people are shouting about what, what she did, the fact it's not validated, but the validator is not our, uh, our highest, uh, we are not measuring uh, the site against uh, the validator. Yeah, against yeah. The, the people. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's the thing. And it's <coughs> very, very interesting what's possible with this by area stuff. Yeah? It's great. Yeah? It's built for, um, for all these um, developers yeah? to, to make all the interaction more accessible. Yeah? And maybe, for example, we have one attribute for the input field it's called required. Right. We need no text before nothing. Right? We know it's required. And the screen reader, yeah, they told them, okay, this is a required thing. That's great. More questions? Yeah, I was wondering about something uh, more like to come from the usability side. There's, like, you could call it the unwritten rules on how you should build a website. 
so people understand it because we all have habits like you know everybody uses Windows and then you start using Mac OS and you expect it to work in the same way because you have habits on how you use it. Yeah. Same with browsing websites, the classical stuff, logo, top menu, something on the left, something on the right, content in the middle. Uh, because I have a customer, one of them, he has like seriously this um, is bad vision. So he used one of these magnifying things. If you have like, think about a normal screen, he magnifies it so much that on his screen, the cursor is like that big, you know, <coughs> you know he, he magnifies it so he sees like maybe three centimeters of the whole of the screen at the mm -hmm. same time. So it's like extreme magnifying. So when I see him browsing websites, he's always like really fast, like going over to the whole website to find, okay, where there, there's a menu, there's this, there's that. So we're thinking, it's also something in those standards about accessibility on how you should structure your website. Like these unwritten rules that people expect yeah. a menu on the left yeah. side. Yeah, I, no, not really, but um, there's a many experience, there are a lot of companies, they're using this eye tracking system, maybe you, you yeah. heard, and here in Germany we have one, one uh, newspaper, no, it's not a magazine, yeah. um, called Weave. And um, at the end of this magazine, every every uh, ausgabe, uh, a number. Yeah, yeah, you have at the end you have uh, 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 two websites are checked with the with the uh, eye tracker, and it's very interesting. Um, the most people um, expect a logo on the left, top of the left, and the navigation on the left. And um, I think that's an experience. Yeah, but sometimes. Um, maybe if you if you do a website for um, advertising company or something like that, yeah, you need uh, you need to be more uh, modern to to, to to be no more yeah, to uh, say it different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and um, I think it depends on what kind of information do you bring to your customer. Yeah, if you have a site with a lot of information uh, with a lot of text. Yeah, and none of so much visual things. Yeah, you should you should structure them like they um, know already. Yeah, but if you have an advertising company and you need some modern, yeah, something with flying one, and where the pictures are the most important thing. Yeah, but this size you can't be really make sense of. It, yeah, it's the same like um, there are so many flash. Uh, there's so many flash stuff in the TV, maybe, if you have something like that, yeah, uh, you can make it accessible. But on the other hand, you will say, um, Macromedia, as much Adobe, sorry, is working uh, and did a lot to make flash more accessible, yeah, but uh, only uh, less uh, flash programmers use this, um, this stuff to make them as accessible. And the biggest focus is, um, the biggest problem using Flash is that the focus, if you, you have a, um, a mixed website, you have an HTML website mixed with Flash, and you um, you get the focus into the Flash, you can't get out. And that's the biggest problem. sagen? Is it okay? Good. Okay, welcome again. Um, I talk a little bit about why accessibility websites are better websites. So uh, if I, I gave this talk uh, four weeks ago in, on the Dutch Joomla day, it was a um, beginner talk and um, I changed nothing, so it's the same, same talk. Um, uh, if I prepared this talk, I, I, I realized that I, I'm um, not really will talk about accessibility websites, I will talk about good websites. So, and um, let us start. So, who am I? I'm Robert Deutz. Um, I'm deploying uh, components. Um, we doing uh, together with Angie, who's there, um, accessible websites and accessible components and such things. So, um, here we go. So, 
one, one important thing in, in, in the sentence is, is one word, I think, and it's uh, better. So, uh, to know or to, to, to say A is better than B, uh, you need an idea what is good. So, and I made a defini uh, definition. Uh, it's for me a definition, so. And uh, that's my definition. So, uh, good websites are made for the visitors. So, they have a good idea where visit the website and um, what these people expect when they go to the website and uh, have a clear and a viewable message. Hannes, come on. Yeah, okay. Yeah, with <laughs> Take your seat. So, um, clear and reviewable message. So, um, so I will tell you to to come a little bit more in, in the topic. So, two story, two story, two stories. Talk two stories. So, see a story one. Um, it was uh, 1998, this guy made a combination of these three parts. So it's URL, it's uniform resource locator, HTTP is protocol to, to um, transport websites, and about HTML. So and made a combination of that. It's not of this, um, not any of this is really new. So. But the combination is it's really interesting. So um, I will not talk about this, both parts, and I will not talk about H and L, and also not on TM, but I will talk about the M. So and the M is for the markup. So and um, what is markup? So it's markup and semantics. So sites are structured. So and if we look at this, Lorem ipsum dolor um, text. So, uh, I think anyone knows this text. You see, there is text. So, and we can make it a little bit better. It makes no sense. So, the so whole text makes no sense, but uh, to do it in this, uh, uh, to, to um, cut it in this part makes also no sense, but it's, uh, I hope. I hope you get what I will talking about. Uh, I made a, a header and, and made paragraphs and made it a little bit structured and made a, a, a list. So, and semantic is to to put this big um, header in 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 how one paragraph and you see all the uh, semantic in this page. So. That's the idea from markup and from semantic. Second story, we all have disabilities. So, um, if I was younger, my eyes were better. So, um, and uh, there are really many kinds of disabilities. So, red, green, so you can have problems with, with using keyboards or mouse or something else. So, and we have many kinds. So, and, and the question, question is, and the answer is there also, can we have one site for cover all this kind of disabilities? So and the answer is no. So, um, so we have really a, a problem, and the problem is the complexity. Complexity is the problem. So the two stories. What will I say with these two stories? Semantic is for structuring your information. Story one. And it's, it's, it's hard to, to make a website to, to cover all the problems and all the, all the accessibility problems. Okay, we, we remember. So, 
um, what people expect, clear message, and uh, that was the definition. So, and now questions you may ask you. Um, what is the, the main idea from, from the site? So, why, why is the site there? So, um, compare the site with different other sites and, uh, and uh, get a better idea um, how other businesses do sites and, and how they are connected to the, to the people. Um, question three is, is why people should visit your site. What expects the visitor and what is your, your target group? So, and what's the message? So, um, maybe I, I don't know if you, you are here um, developers or, or people uh, doing websites. Doing websites? Yes? Okay, Muslim. So, um, then you, you um, if you do accessibility websites, maybe you, you hear this. So, our target group has no disabilities. So, and, uh, and uh, we know our marketing, we focus on the, on the majority, so. Um, and I think if we had uh, a market, and I made it a little bit simple with, with, the, with the numbers, so, and we have, uh, we are 10 on the market, so, and 90% of the people in the market have any disabilities. So, it's also, uh, if this is the description on our market, um, then I think we, we can ask the, our, our clients, um, if, not, if nine fight for a part of 90, this results in some part of the market. So, and if with the idea, the competitors think uh, the same as your client, and they don't go to the accessibility, uh, to the disability, um, to the people with disabilities. So uh, then, when he is alone and fight for 10% of the market, then he gets 10%. So it's easy. Um, I think. Um, in, in, in this discussion, you, you should tell your, your, your client that, um, the, that uh, he should use the market potential as best as he can and, and his own potential. So, um, I think accessibility is a chance for clients to be better on the market. So, and we come to, to why better. So, it's only, uh, I, I have uh, now two slides for, for every question. Why is it? Oh, it's, rot, it's read by me, so. So, I think the projector had a little problem. Um, okay. If you remind on my definition, um, I said good website knows a lot about her visitors. So, and I think accessibility websites must know who are the visitors uh, because there is this complexity. They need to know where the people is, where the people are, and uh, so that's good for for accessibility website. So. And the second part was this uh, good websites know really what people expect. So, and um, I think accessibility websites must, must know what people expect or they are focused on their target group. So, also uh, sign on that. So, the uh, third is, is um, good websites have a clear message. So, you can have a clear message on your website without making it accessibility accessible. So that's only the part. So we can discuss this. But 
So a little bit plus for, for, your, for your accessible website is um, your search ranking will be probably better. So you have good semantic in your, in your site and, and uh, um, uh, you, you, your, your content is better structured. So, um, so if you have good semantics, you can import the content. It's more a technical thing. And um, usability is probably better. So, um, and now, how about Joomla? Um, I have first 1.0 Joomla. And um, if you look at, at one point, um, oh, we have to say semantic doesn't exist, really. So, a problem. We have tables over tables, and it's a little bit crappy. So, and to change it, you need to hack the core. You cannot override it. So, you can it in 1.5 and 1.6. So um, this is really, really a hard job. So we, we've done this uh, a year, I think, uh, and made this 508 five hack for Joomla 1.0. Uh, and um, you have always to merge all the files and uh, look what, what has changed. So it was not really fun. Um, if we look at, at 1.5, and if you look at the beast template, um, we see we have a good semantic, content is in the logical order. So I think many, many people don't like the colors from the template. So, but, so we have a um, table of output with this template. And um, it is a good starting point. Um, to make an accessible site. So, if you look at 1.5 and look at the Milky Way template, so you can, if you remind, you can see what one was was on 1.0. So, 1.6. One 1.6 six. Um, one six is uh, semantic is good. This is the overrides uh, for for the template are. Uh, not needed, so the good, con good content structure is, is go uh, gone in the core. So it was a lot of work. Maybe you can tell us. <laughs> so we have a table of standard output here now. So we have also a very good starting point for accessible websites. So um, now we have Milky Way with overrides and with, uh, with the old crap. So, um, and uh, C110, so. Um, so two points uh, with, with speech to know, so we have, uh, is this right or it's changed, no? So, yeah. as I made the presentation. Yeah. Okay. 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 We we have a we have one beast beast two zero is with x HTML, and we have beast five is with HTML five and XML, x HTML. So, and this y area and accessible JavaScript is in 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 the beast in both. In both. Okay. Good. So. It's really, really interesting. So I gave this presentation on the, on the Dutch Joomla, and I need 25 minutes. So and I know I'm I'm ready in 15 minutes. So um, <laughs> I, I hope you have questions. And we, it's really cool uh, that we have Angie here. And, and uh, um, uh, I, I have to say, 
I'm, I'm more as a coding guy in our team. So, and um, with uh, 1.6, uh, we had uh, a lot of new things. And um, sorry for this short presentation, but uh, okay. That's it. Yeah. Right? yeah. Okay. <laughs> maybe maybe you you come here, so and say. Yeah. 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 But they're not on the camera. I think um, the usability is um, the basic for accessibility website. Uh, um, a usable website is not an accessible website. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the um, the most of the sites should be usable. Yeah, and um, the accessibility is one you put something on it. Yeah, you yeah. you make it um, accessible for people with disabilities, or you make it accessible for for for, uh, for Google or all these robots. Yeah, and you have to do something more than to make it usable. Okay. To make it usable is to have this idea of your customers to structure the content well. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, to make it accessible, you need a little bit more to go into the technical details. You have to change something in the code. Yeah, um, um, a site that looks uh, very nice and is good, has a good usability um, can be um, not accessible. Mm -hmm. But the usability is very good, but it yeah. isn't accessible. Yeah, so the usability is is a is a basic. Yeah, and the accessibility comes up. To, to the top. Yeah. Okay, accessibility is more. Yeah. So, to bring it on a short sentence. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, I've been, been using these uh, 1.5 templates, and what are the spe specific things you'd say for, well, if you want to have an accessible website besides content structuring in Meta 1 and Meta 2? What are other things I noticed? Something with uh, enlargement of fonts and well, uh, hidden links or something. Are those yes. recommendations for? Uh, like and you need you, you need to, to, to know where where it comes. So so it's 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 uh, it's it's important for for blind people to have to have some some uh, more navigation points. So as they uh, read the page uh, uh, sequentially. So and. Sequential, yeah, okay, in a row. So, um, so they 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 reach it, and and, and uh, if they if if you have uh, menus there and and uh, uh, some stuff, on, they also have to read this this uh, this stuff. So, and it's good to have a, uh, to uh, an anchor uh, to to jump to the content, to jump to to the navigation. So, to Make it a little bit uh, faster for the people. Is there some article or blog article on how with well this kind yeah. of easy things where you can well I don't know them. Maybe there are blogs that you know that are but yeah. I don't know them and it's well it's something actually every template designer maybe should do. There are lots of us of us uh, uh, so the most important one is okay. um, DCAG, right? It's the idea? Yeah. 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 The it says the content guidelines uh, of this consortium, and there's the list where you can read the most important things. And now we had, we had uh, when I developed uh, these in 1.5, there was the first version of this, and now we the W. W. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. Give all the all the all, all the pens to to Thomas. <laughs> so. Yeah, 
for for interpretation. Yeah. So you have um, you can read it. It's, it can help you to to make to get a feeling for, for what you should do. But on the other hand, I think you should know how the disabled people are working in their communities. Mm. Yeah. That's the second second thing. Yeah. yeah. And but this, this Dutch side for yeah. was also very good yeah. about. The yeah. Dutch But you do you don't do it wrong. You do it no good. Yeah, but it doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it yeah. makes no sense. Yeah. It makes no sense. The result, the result is not as good as you can reach. Yeah. 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 So what would you put into the alt text of your examples? Problem is like if I understand right, the best would be to not put anything. It depends on what what is on the hinge. Yeah. So one day. I made an experiment. Um, I take a, a, I do a picture of um, a doll with a lot of blood over over the face, and um, I ask people on the blog what should be the alternative text. Yeah, and um, this was a, a kind of art picture. So it was, it's, uh, I got sixty or seventy. Um, um, Different. different ideas what should put be in. So we can see that not always, There's always. <laughs> we can find the right words for it. Yeah? If you have an easy image like a tree, you can see a tree on, 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 on the picture. Yeah? Yeah? But sometimes it's very, very difficult to describe the picture. Yeah? And, um, or you have a map. You never can describe the, the, the content of a map. Hmm. It's not possible. So then, if you have a long, um, and, and something like a map, you need a long text yeah, to describe what is on, on the picture. So it depends on the picture you have. Yeah? It's not easy. Yeah, yeah ask. OK. okay. Uh, I think in this case, one point is to describe objectively what's on the picture. Yeah. In your case, it was an artist's conception, yeah. so it's very hard to transmit the artist's conception to the, to the text. But, well, objectively, it was this image and it's in the imagination of the, the person that yeah. is listening to the text. And I have one question because you are speaking about uh, what and WCAD and the guidelines and everything, but in the guidelines, there are some kind of, uh, some sort of classification of yeah. the accessibility of the site. Yeah. And uh, I was some time ago uh, doing some research about this, and it was very hard to, to adapt uh, a site for, for everyone. Just as you say, is you have to know your target group. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have a very clear what is your target group, uh, which grade of uh, accessibility, for example, when you are developing this, mm -hmm. 
what time of, uh, what, uh, what range of accessibility do you want to obtain? AA, AAA, AAA, I want. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, my AA, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very hard to, to be, uh, to do accessible site for all people. And the biggest problem are all these people with, uh, they have some problems with their eyes. The biggest group with different, um, how do you call it, this kind of, yeah, because yeah, the people, uh, they are blind, they are people, they have these um, gray, uh, gray stars, yeah. you know, gray and, yeah. yeah, and you have people, they have, uh, look back, but, yeah. and you have people, they need uh, glasses for to show, to look here and to look far away, and this group is very, very big, so, and, um, some of them, they are using different different technical stuff to uh, to access to access to the site. And one for the blind people is our screen kids. For some people, they can uh, look a little bit. This is this, uh, uh, this thing called zoom, whatever. Yeah, zoom. Uh, okay, okay. Um, yeah. So that so you have to to, to take care. To put no stones in the way to um, style their views by themselves. They are able to, to, to maybe from Firefox, they can disable the style sheets and can do, use their own style sheets. So, and you must be, must be aware that you don't um, put style sheets uh, directly into the content area if you don't use inline styles, maybe for example. Yeah? And so they have. Um, Nothing in the way they can change um, the, the style they want. Yeah? You understand what I mean? Yeah. Yeah? And um, on the other hand, I think semantic is a good thing for everything. It's very good for, for, for blind people, but it's also good for Google or all these robots crawling through the web, taking some information um, to us. But on the other hand, we, we have, uh, I need a lot of time to. to um, to understand why deaf people need um, to be um, to be uh, videos to be aware of, of deaf people, yeah? Because I think that they cannot hear, but they can read, yeah. But most of the deaf people, they um, when I, when you when you when you see a child growing up, you see uh, how how they learn reading, yeah. My my, my I go to my kids and my daughter she. Uh, yeah. she, she takes the letters to her word and they hear it. Yeah? And most of the deaf people, they don't, they have a, a competence for uh, like kids in the age of 10 to, to read it. And we, uh, it's unbelievable, but it's my kids. Yeah? So, um, so in, in Germany, we have a, um, the, uh, a new, um, new law for, for how to build accessible websites for, for the government, um, uh, that we need sometimes um, reading language in, in the website. Yeah. Yeah. That's a very big problem because uh, when I'm, I'm working with a good texter and we make um, a good uh, advertising text at, at the website, yeah, um, and uh, now we should, should, should write text for uh, easy text. Yeah, he's a little happy with that, yeah? But sometimes it uh, can be really helpful. But maybe if you have a government site or a ministry maybe, and you have easy text, yeah? Then it's good for kids too. The kids can, maybe they have uh, in school, they have, a, uh, have a homework to, to find something out about ministry, if it's not, yeah? They can go to the site and find this, um, this text, and it will be good for kids too, yeah? And on, on the other hand, we have people with a lack of, um, I have a politically correct word. Yeah. <laughs> Use the unpolitically correct word. It's yeah. not a problem. Some dumb people, yeah. Yeah, the logical structure, the scripting, yeah, 
And if you do this, you are very hard. Yeah, you are you do the, the most important thing. Yeah. And um, you can't um, do in a classical web factor each disability. Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. So uh, but we can try <coughs> to do the summary of all that is good for the most of the people with different disabilities. So if you developer, I don't know if, if any developer here. So if we, if I develop components together with, with Angie, so we 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 talk about the semantic. So it's really important to to do this really early. So what is the semantic and 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 how how the output look like? So and then if we do it, we 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 make it flexible. So uh, we have our semantic. So and and uh, we we can. Configure if it starts on in, uh, header level one, header level two, header level three. So if you change your site, you can can uh, easily configure and 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 it, it drills down. So it works. But the question is: Is everybody clear why you need these different header levels? Yeah, yeah because you have to know that the screen reader users can skip for example, yeah. each. Had a level to the other, yeah. Or in, uh, during the development of one point five, I was uh, very. It was very important to me that we have the possibility to change the read more text. Yeah. I think Alison will know this discussion. Yeah. Yeah. And um, this is because screen reader users can make a list of all links in the site, and if the text is always the same, yeah, they they don't know where where the link is going yeah. wrong. Read more, read more, read more, read more, read more. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. So the best thing is to to to, uh, to install a screen reader. Maybe for example, try it out. Yeah. yeah. Or think if somebody use a uh, how, how you call this triangle. Hmm? Yeah. Maybe for the uh, the pagination, uh, as somebody that uses. Uh, more than time. Yeah. 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 And uh, if you use something like that, no, no screen reader can handle it. Yeah. So it's better you put an image inside with a text or, or something like that. Yeah. Anders? Uh, I've got a question that maybe is a little bit uh, more difficult or too difficult. I don't know. Because um, lately we've seen um, the production of JavaScript in a lot of websites and. Um, I mean, the, the simple stuff is a slider uh, for, for modules, um, or for example, in, in the Joomla backend, um, the slider is called parameters. Um, if, uh, if I'm using all this and maybe even introduce something like drag and drop and all that stuff, um, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's a really great improvement for um, most of the, the, the users, I would say so, because, for example, if I can just sort a uh, list in the backend by the drag and drop. I don't know if anybody's seen uh, Zoom 2.0 that yeah. introduced this now. Um, you can just sort your objects uh, with drag and drop instead of uh, the, the um, old arrows uh, that you have in 1.5 and 1.6 and all that stuff. Um, but it's it doesn't really look accessible to me, um, starting with uh, blind people that don't even know where to uh, grab the item to drag it uh, to some other place uh, and um, ending with people with um, disabilities um, with the hands and which uh, really can't um, yeah, use mouse and, and uh, point and click uh, like, like the normal person's uh, people can do. So um, maybe um, where's, where's the line um, that we have to, to or where's the line uh, that we, when we cross it uh, that it's uh, really for, for users. Yeah, and this is the thing why um, we have this gray area. Yeah, this is the yeah. thing where you should look. Yeah, <laughs> I think the modern, the modern screen readers, yeah, including Jules Ten, they can uh, use JS very well. But the most important thing is to tell them where the focus is. Okay. This is the problem. Yeah, if they don't, if the focus is not set. Yeah, they can't see it. Yeah, yeah, and that's a problem, and it's very easy. Yeah, because you only have to write on this focus, nothing more. Yeah, and that helps. Yeah, 
And then, if you use this by area as well, you have so many um, available things to describe the state status Take. Uh, the state Take. of, of um, what, the, what the thing you, you, uh, um, you change has. Maybe it's, um, it's selected or not selected. Uh, maybe the input box is required or not. Right. And this by area is a very great. Yeah? Yeah? And then you can see from the role of JS has changed in the accessibility too. Yeah? With um, three, four, five years ago, yeah, all the people are crying JS is very bad. Then the web um, uh, web uh, two zero thing came, everything has to move and to fly and Ajax and something like that. And um, um, the three years ago the people um, in cells say there um, has to be the all the stuff has to be accessible without JS. Yeah? But um, um, but that's not the real, um, it's not really important because JS has nothing to do with accessibility. If you write accessibility JS, it's great. Yeah? Yeah? And you read CIJ, there's, um, they describe, they are talking about techniques, yeah? Then they are talking about accessible, about accessible JS. And if accessible JS is possible, if you use these by area roles, if you use this, um, all these attributes, you can, you can choose now if they are available. Um, but the problem is, it is not um, up to you. Yeah. 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 And, and um, so you have to, to, to use it careful, yeah, because the validator uh, will, um, in this size, don't pass the validator at the moment. Mm. But I think the validator is not the, um, highest thing we have, yeah, the user is the highest thing we have, so uh, no need doesn't matter. And in bees, in the new bees, uh, I use this, but I do it in JavaScript so that the metadata is uh, allowed and not all the people are shouting out my word what she did, the type is not validated. But the metadata is not our uh, our highest... Uh, we are not measuring uh, the size against uh, the validation. Yeah. Yeah. More questions? Yeah, I was wondering about something uh, more like to come from the usability side. There's like you could call it the unwritten rules on how you should build websites so people understand it because for all that habits, like you know, everybody uses Windows and then you start using Mac OS and you expect it to work in the same way because you have habits on how you use it. Same with browsing websites, the classic stuff logo, top menu, something on the left, something on the right, content in the middle. Uh, because I have a customer, one of them, he has like seriously, you say it's um, bad vision. So he used one of these magnifying things. If you have like, think about a normal screen, he magnifies it so much that on his screen, the cursor is like that big. You know, <coughs> you know, he, he magnifies it so he sees like maybe three centimeter of the whole of the screen at the same time. So it's like extreme magnifying. So when I see him browsing websites, he's always like really fast, like, going over to the whole website to find, okay, where there, there's a menu, there's this, there, that. So we're thinking, is there also something in those standards about accessibility on how you should structure your website? Like these unwritten rules that people expect yeah. a menu on the left yeah. side. Yeah, I, you know, not really, but um, there's a many experience, there are a lot of companies are using this eye tracking system, mm -hmm. maybe you, you yeah. heard, and here in Germany we have one, one um, Newspaper, no, it's not magazine, yeah. um, called V. And um, at the end of this magazine, every every uh, uh, a number. Yeah, yeah, you have at the end, you have uh, 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 
two websites I checked with the, with the uh, eye tracker, and it's very interesting. Um, the most people um, expect the logo on the left, top of the left, and the navigation on the left, and um, I think it's an experience, yeah? But sometimes, um, maybe if you, if you do a website for an um, advertising company or something like that, yeah, you need, uh, you need to be more uh, modern, to, 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 to be no more... Yeah, uh, to say it's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I think it depends on what kind of information do you bring to your customer, yeah? If you have a site with a lot of information, uh, with a lot of text, yeah, and not of so much visual thing, yeah, should, you should structure them like they uh, know already, yeah. But if you have an advertising company, yeah, you need some modern, and, yeah, something with flying on, and where the pictures are the most important thing, yeah. But this side, you can't be made second, yeah. It's the same like um, there are so many flash. Uh, there's so many flash stuff in the TV, maybe, if you have something like that, yeah, uh, you can make it accessible. But on the other hand, you will say, um, Macromedia, and uh, Adobe, sorry, is working, uh, I mean, did a lot to make flash more accessible, yeah, but uh, only uh, less uh, flash programmers use this, um, this stuff to make them as accessible. And the biggest focus is, uh, the biggest problem using flash is 